Ladies and gentlemen, can we have a pappy old Daniel flower hour next time you go for a roof? I have no idea what you just said. Play sealed? I think you like sealed a lot more than I do. I really appreciate you playing chill but awesome music generator. Me too. I'm glad you appreciate it. I appreciate it as well. There's a lot of mutual appreciation going on here, and I appreciate that. So, all right. So, uh, this is a deck that I uploaded a little bit ago. Ugh, I encountered this deck yesterday, cringe face. I imagine that that means it's pretty good then, because you didn't be like, oh, I encountered this yesterday and I crushed it because it's terrible. I imagine it's like, oh god, it's pretty good. It's from Obro the Rart though. Ugh. I don't want fop, goddammit. I'm a Dapper Dan man. Well, isn't this place a geographical oddity? Ten minutes from everywhere. Oh, brother, we're at that. was a criminally underrated Coen Brothers film. So this deck is a black, black white sacrifice deck. Cavalier of Night is Bustin'. I'm about to bust. Um, so basically, you're, you got Hunted Witness and Orzhov Enforcer to sacrifice. You have Priest of Forgotten Gods to sacrifice. You have Midnight Reaper to draw some cards off of your sacrifice. You have Plague Crafter, also sacrifice. Uh, Ravenous Chupacabra just kills things. Soren is great because you can get back any of these very, very easily with Soren. Uh, Lifelink also relevant. Cavalier of Night, it also sacrifices the thing and kills the thing. Liliana Dread Horror General also sacrifices things, so... I started mission for two years in Alabama and Mississippi and our brother Rathal just absolutely slays me. That's hilarious. Oh man, that's good stuff, dude. Well, isn't this a place of god this is a place of goddamn geographical oddity. Two hours from uh, ten minutes what did you say? Ten minutes from everywhere? Two weeks from everywhere? Is it two weeks from everywhere? It's two weeks. It's got to be two weeks. Anyway, this is the deck running plan. Let me upload it to the to the deck tracker because you guys are gonna the stream decker because you guys are gonna be like, what? This doesn't look like the deck that's in the stream decker. And then I'm gonna be like, oh god, I'm sorry. Thank you. M twenty black white sacrifice. Zedra, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are a good. You are a good people. Witty, supportive, heartfelt comment. I accept. Insert appreciative, heartfelt thank you here. Worry, 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 worry all the time. Michael B. has not gone to work yet. It is now 4.10, and he's supposed to be there at 4. And the only thing I could think is that he wanted to reward himself for going in on time for three days in a row. So he's like, I'm going to treat myself to some tardiness today. And it makes me so frustrated. Because I love that dude. And I want I want the best for him. Oh uh, yeah, I think this is keepable. Ooh. Gopher? <laughs> How did the deck play? I made a ton of changes, John. I made a ton of changes. Oh, get that guy out of here. Um, I don't know how you got to Diamond. We we couldn't get that many wins with it, but I thought it was definitely fun. It was super sweet. I'm still going to write about it uh, for this Wednesday. Um, you know what? One of the one of the things I switched out immediately after some suggestions was um, putting in Rotting Regisaur as your three drop instead of... What did we take out for it? Oh, instead of Risen Reef, because then you just get to... It's a great discard outlet, because we always had Dracuseth in hand. And being able to just discard to Rotting Regisaur and also have a 7-6 is just... Batty. I also maxed out on, um, on Cavalier of Thorns instead of the split. For one thing, it was actually kind of difficult to get both Triple Black and Triple Green. But, um... It also came down to just being able to, like, Cavalier of Thorns does what you want it to do a little bit better. Like, it puts cards in the graveyard and it ramps you. Another interesting suggestion that didn't really work out for us, but I did like it, was Lotus Field. Because with Lotus Field, you can actually cast the Dracu sets if you happen to draw them. They're like, alright, I just gotta play this guy for three. Ooh, fascinating. 
Let's attack with everybody. I'm gonna draw two cards from this. Come on. Oh my god, I need one land so I can play a priest and an Orzhov Enforcer, but they don't give it to me. Uh, worry, 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 worry all of the time. But either way, I'm gonna be mentioning all of the changes in uh, in the article, so you can you can check that out. Your favorite and mine. You're gonna bounce my priest? It's an interesting, it's an interesting choice. Bold strategy con. Still no land, huh? Okay. Well, how many lands are in this deck? God, I always gotta keep checking. I'm like, well, my lands are in here. Do I? Do, do you think I'm a joke, Magic the Gathering? I'm gonna check right now. 25 lands? Even that cat was mad. It was like, oh, I know, buddy. I know. I really should have seen that coming. Worry, 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 worry all of the time. Oh, if it isn't old, if it isn't old Talon Trooper himself. Yeah, I'll make a zomboy. Well, congratulations. I don't like this. I think we're going to choop and kill this guy. Choop and kill. That's what, that's what I always say. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Can you enter a code into Arena where it changes the cat's meow to Mike's meow? Uh, I think that I think they're actually working on that. Yeah. And then when you click it, it goes bow. Where did when did the hearts come into play? That's what I don't understand. Wow, oh, Tefri number three. Can you bounce Ravenous Chupacabra? Isolated chapel all of the time. I guess we can just we can just go Cavalier of Night, sack the Enforcer, kill a Zombo. That doesn't seem great. I guess I kind of want to get this out and another Midnight Reaper out. I don't think our attacks are great here. Totally making it up as he goes. Oh, worry, worry, worry. No blocks. It's like four. This deck seems sweet. If this is what standard is all about, I'm game. Uh, yeah, let's proceed. You and target any number of players. I'll target any number of target players. Each of the steal a sacrifice group. Yes. Submit one player. Sacrifice you and you. Look at all them triggies. What are you drawing? Five cards here? That's a lot. Have we played a land this turn? Yes, we have. Yes, we have.
Uh, no attacks here. Uh, what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh wow, escape shift at the end of the turn. Yep, that should kill us. My Risen Reef triggers crashed. I'm wow, that's. Huh. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine. I'm going to go to the next game. I don't want to discard. I just want to go to the next game. The Trooper? The, the Talon Trooper? <laughs> this, fuck, this meme is unbelievably good. Unbelievably good. All right. So I think we're just bringing in Duress here. Take out one of this guy. No, this guy's that guy's clutch. You don't want to take out this guy. Take out some plague crafters. Put in three of these boys. Take out one Soren for one. Ah, eh, Soren's so good though. We take out one of this guy. And, oh, plague crafter is just pretty bad, I think, in general. So we can just take out the plague crafter. Maybe we want bell haunts too. Do we only have one? No, we have multiplays. I will keep this hand. Hopefully we draw a two and a three drop, am I right? I don't think we need to play this guy in turn one. I don't think it's worth two life. They take an extra point, we take two. Yeah. I guess we gain no, this guy doesn't have lifelink. The token has lifelink. Oh, see now we just get to play dose. Dose witnesses. Risen Reef is a narc. I mean, it's just Coiling Oracle. If you have a one, it's a Coiling Oracle. If you have any other elemental, it's just value. I mean, like, if in green deck, you're going to play Wood Elves, right? Wood Elves searches your library, puts a land into play, right? It puts a land into play. You're also going to play, like, Elvish Visionary. So it's an Elvish Visionary that costs one more. Wild Growth Walker is an elemental, y'all. Y'all know y'all know about Wild Growth Walker. Wild Growth Walker, Texas Ranger. Oh yes. Apparently, uh, we're just not meant to have uh, four lands. So I'll just thumb pass. Okay. Well, that guy's good. Well, that's a lady. That lady's good. Worry, 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 worry all of the time. So we have lots of different lands. That's a thing, all right. Ability. 
Field of the Dead. You're gonna bounce your own grazer? Huh. Oh, they hit a, do they hit a land? Submit one. These two gentlemen. My turn. All right. All righty then. In the immortal words of Ace Ventura. So we can actually play Soren for four, get back Hunted Witness, and if we draw something for three, we can play that as well. I will have for House actually, we can just kill. We can just kill this. Which probably seems better, I guess. I guess if we draw something further, we can still do it. was a land. Alright. Alright. So they have no utility lands, which is super good. Um... So, Cavalier. <laughs> kill this guy. Dunzo. Kill this guy. Play Tempale. I don't think we need a third Chupacabra, but we're going to just get a land instead now. Hunted witness art with Hunter sneaking away with a piece of meat with Frank in the background holding an empty plate. I think we can probably get... Oh, crying out loud. I bet T. Jesse could make something like that. I'm just assuming I'm gonna be dead here. Whoa, God, we're not dead, so they... Oh, yeah, there's like... That's a lot. I'm trying to get these watch links taken care of. Yep. How about resolve all? I, I don't need... I don't need this in my life. I don't need this kind of field of... Field of the dead negativity in my life. No, 
Oh boy. Oh look, right there was the thing we. Sixteen of these dudes, huh? I'll kill one. Got him. Got him. All right. Yikes. Okay, it's okay, they only got 12 now. We're basically winning. <laughs> oh Jesus, this is so many zombies. So, I feel like Soren's dead, right? Like, if we block it with one, two, three, four, five, he till still takes four. So, what we're going to do is prevent damage to our face as much as possible. I just wanted to be clear that they just top deck double scape shift in a row. Not now, little man. God, we're in the middle of a game. This is a totally reasonable. Does this deck have a board wipe on the sideboard? I doubt it's in the main deck because reasons. What do we got in the sideboard? Duress, Gutterbones, Basilica, God Eternal. Finale of Eternity is kind of like a board wipe, but not really. It's also very interesting. The problem with the board wipes is that a lot of times you're going to be uh, susceptible to them as well. Your head done blowed up. That's true. At least it wasn't Esper. I don't even care about the Esper Hero match. I'd rather actually have it be Esper Hero than Esper Control. I feel like that match is at least... Like, if you're going to put a creature on the board and your plan is going to be to amass creatures, that makes me feel much better than if your plan was to uh, destroy all my creatures. And then at least I feel comfortable about playing my own creatures in, in, in that situation. So, that's my, that's my theory. That's not a theory at all. Whatever. Uh, let's keep six and get rid of this swampy boy. Our record has not been stellar today. Let's, uh, let's just, just be, just to be clear.
My favorite Simpsons quote is when Bart announced that he's going to jump Springfield Gorge and Otto says, Bart is the only adult here. I feel I should say something. Cool. <laughs> oh, man. The Simpsons is fantastic. Wow. It's aggressive. Joke's on you, buddy. I got a double Soren in hand. Oh, I want this so badly, but I don't have five or six mana. Subtle Wreckage might be gas against the Scape Shift deck. Unfortunately, I don't know if it's a large enough part of the metagame to, to really Scape Shift against them. All right, you get one. Uh, Historic probably definitely won't take off in paper. You can't splinter formats that that much. Like, uh, I've talked about this a lot, I think. Like if you're trying to if you're at a, if you're a local store and you're trying to promote modern, and then you suddenly say, hey, we're gonna have this this historic event. Like now all of a sudden people need historic decks too, and the meta games aren't the same for both decks, right? So like, you know, just because you're using a card in modern does not automatically mean you'll be using it in historic as well. So the the, the overlap is not as as ubiquitous as you might think it is. So it's like. It's still dividing. Like, people people who play Modern already aren't necessarily going to go play Historic. And the people who play Standard aren't ne also aren't necessarily going to play Historic either because they might not have the Amonkhet or Kaladesh cards, depending on when they started. And th I think the, the main the main point of Historic is that it's, it's a format for Arena because once the formats rotate... That was a good draw. Once the format rotates, they have nothing to do with their cards. This is not this is not gonna work the way I think it works. Hexproof is a hell of a drug. Wow, that was exciting until I was like, oh no. How do I deal with Shalai? Watch, we're going to draw Plague Crafter, which would have been great last turn. Dang it. Where's that Liliana when you need her? Yeah, I don't know what this deck is. Bloodthirsty, Aerialist, and Shalai. I don't know what's happening. Do you hear that cat? This is me revving up my motorcycle. Okay, so these are two life-based creatures. But I see no... This, the art, this art is 100% upside down and it looks really weird. The helicopter's... Oh, that's good stuff. <coughs> Fascinating. You think they'll sack the Shalai? I had a feeling they wouldn't. Worry, 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 worry all of the time. Interesting. This is just like Esper Flyers? This is fascinating. God, this one Shalai is really ruining our day. Can I get a Chupacabra, please? One Chupacabra. Chups! That's actually pretty good too, I guess. Your corpse 
Let's hear it for the boys. By the boys, I mean the creatures you sacrifice. Uh, sacrifice two. I'll get rid of Orzov and Plague Crafter, probably. Oh, baby. All right, we get to go up to six here. That feels okay. Going to the face. I mean, we're definitely blocking here. And we get to draw a card too. That's a good deal. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that is a good one. This looks like a fun new toy. Worry, 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 worry all of the time. Uh, I think this is worse. God, we get to draw a card and we get to kill Shalai. That's unreal, dude. How did we? I think like we just took over the game. Did you guys see it? Target any more players? I'll submit one. I submit to you for your approval. Yeah. And we get to draw another card? Two cards? Oh, blah, I'm vomiting. Resolve that. Sure, resolve this scry. Yep, I don't want you. Oh, baby. What even just happened? That turn was unbelievable. Worry, 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 worry. Oh. I'm trying to submit... I'm trying to submit an online customer service request for this for this watch because I need the links and no matter what store I go to, no matter what Omega dealer I go to, they have not <laughs> Oh, jokes on you, my dude. Wow, that was whole, that's Oh, actually we can just This is probably just better here, right? You could just scry it again with that temple. He's right. Yep, that'll do. Oh boy. This deck is, this deck just went from hot trash to smooth, to easy listening, that's for sure. Uh, with toughness X or less. I don't think I want to board anything in here. Finale's fine, but it kills, like, it's hard to, this is going to cost like six mana. Bond to is kind of meh. I actually have no idea what the Bantu is, is used for here. Duress could be fine, but like they're they're obviously creature based. Bell Haunt could be good. I think we want Chubacabras and Plague Crafters. Like this this actually seems like a good configuration against a creature based deck.
I'm just writing this. This this uh, this customer service email. So I'm just waiting for this. I think I did it. Submit. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely keep that. That seems fine. So, I think we're definitely playing, uh, we're gonna play Priest here, because if they actually play something, we can play Enforcer and Hunted Wood next next turn, which is not too bad. I heard you like singing Killer Tofu by the Beats the other day on YouTube. I made a slash fiction zine called Funny Clots with some friends a few weeks ago if you want. That would be sick, dude! Oh, that's gas. Hilariously gas. Whatever, Roger. I might as well do this now, because if we do draw something that we can play for two mana, then that's pretty cool. That is not it. However, next turn... Goodbye, mana. Goodbye. I will pay for a beat zine. Oh, we Killer Tofu... So here's an interesting thing. We can actually activate this, sack these two, uh, play a Soren, and get back something, which I think is pretty good. If we had another land, it'd be great, because then we can play the Soren first, get back Midnight Reaper, but I think it's actually still pretty good the way it is. We also get to draw a card, so maybe we just hit lands there. Did not get it. Um, let's get this, my dude. Play this guy. Um, I actually will keep that. I think we have enough stuff in our hand, and with five mana, we can play numerous things. Yeah, there was this really, like, unbeatable era of Nicktoons, and it was, like, Ren and Stimpy, Doug, and Rugrats. And they were all just very, very good. Later, they had Rocco's Modern Life, but Rocco's Modern Life, honestly, creeped me out. It just felt extremely weird. Like, it was almost too weird. Ren and Stimpy I was fine with. Rocco's Modern Life made me uncomfortable. I don't know why. It's not a beat zine, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Let's 
So what we can do, we can play, we can't we can't play Liliana this turn, presumably. No, we can't, we don't have enough things. I like just getting value with with Soren here. Uh, let's play another Enforcer. Do I not have the mana for that? Oh, Soren was four and we didn't actually activate. So, yes. Whatever. It's fine. Did you ever watch Invader Zim? I never did watch Invader Zim. Invader Zim was after my time. We won the game. This deck is spicy now. I can't think of anything, any changes that I would make at this particular juncture. I will play first. I will ship. Oh, God. Temple on the... <sighs> How good is Temple of Silence, guys? <sighs> After my time, aka I am old. Yeah, it's something. It's something, all right. Oh, God. Oink. Ren and Stimpy was literally my favorite of the of the four of the four aforementioned Nickelodeon cartoons. Alright, we're gonna risk it for the biscuit, guys. Temple of Silence. Let's see if this Scryland really uh really holds its own. Done. Oh my god. Look how good we are at this game, guys. Oh. It's good enough, but I want to hit lands. I think lands are more important, especially if this is like Esper where they have no creatures whatsoever, so. Sure. I'll take your sword and jokes on you, buddy. I don't even have another land. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, we're not going to... We're gonna play crafter here. Can we get this? No, sir, I don't like it. Horse, I, I. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. Do you have any rubber walrus protectors? Let's slow this down. Here we go. Here we go. Just bounce my oars off. Morzov. This is hardly my worst defeat. <laughs> this is hardly my worst. I mean, I guess we're both stuck on three. Call the police. That show was like when you look back at Ren and Stimpy, dude. That show is 
Woo! That's a weird one, man. Well, that's pretty solid. Oh, I should have did three. Dang, I'm stupid. I totally forgot there was a Midnight Reaper because we didn't actually didn't naturally die. Like, watching Ren and Stimpy now, it's just unbelievable. I'm like, I cannot believe this was a kid's show that they got away with. It is super out there. But do you have any rubber walrus protectors? Call the police. You know what? I'm not done yet. Yeah, big surprise, my dude. Sacrifice a creature or a planeswalker. I'll get rid of the flyer. That's a great deal. Interesting. This is all very interesting. So we have a couple options here. We could actually play like two creatures and attack. We can shoot this, or I think we're just getting back to Midnight Reaper here. And then we can play two more Orzhov Enforcers so that if they, like, have a sweep where we get to draw five and get three one ones out of it, like, eh, that's pretty good. I stepped away from the stream after a chain of Teferis and came back just in time to see a chain of Teferis. Have the last two, three hours been like, no. No, they have not, thankfully. But, you know, if you have to ask that question, I feel like that says enough. I just want the cat on blue. So if anyone's watching, I'm not trying to spam this cat emote. I just want the cat on blue. Okay, draw five, get three one ones. Deal. Two, three, four. Fourth Teferi of this game, huh? Worst defeat. I 
I sent you a Discord message about a deck review. If you get a moment to respond, I would appreciate it. I will check it. Discard card, huh? Well, probably just planes here. <laughs> Teferi number six. One, two, three. I guess that's, uh, that's Teferi number five. My bad. It's only number five, guys. It's okay. There's always a plan. How much can we deal here? Hi, Bob. Are we talking about like a like a critique? A, don a donation, a deck donation, if you will. Or are we talking about just like take a look at the deck? Uh, I guess we're getting rid of probably Floaty Boy. Yeah, I'm just not in the. I just don't feel like giving them more life with Oath of Kaya. I feel like giving them so much life with Oath of Kaya has been pretty detrimental for us. I guess we'll get rid of Forgotten Guy. Are you just dead if I attack you? You block here, you take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh god, you go to one? What's that about? How do we remove this guy? If we get rid of two one ones, we deal three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, okay. That seems better. All right, so Chupacabra is fine, but I think Duress is significantly better for obvious reasons. So is Basilica Bell Haunt. Three cards gotta come out. Two of this guy can go. Probably a priest. I don't know if priest is that good. Maybe gutter bones is alright. Is Bantu just better than Cavalier? It's definitely possible.
this time. Remember that one time you remembered? I remember. <laughs> I remember. Uh, I thought we can definitely play it either today or tomorrow. I'd like, I'd probably prefer tomorrow just because I want to have time to digest it and get a good look at it. Uh, let's just go Hunted Witness. I assume it's a standard deck. That would be my assumption. Wow, took the duress. It's basically... They basically too, too paid two mana to duress themselves. Joke's on them. Why didn't you play the Goblet Shrine there? I don't know. Your question is as good as mine. I was thinking for today because today's the only day I can catch you live, but it's not possible. To... Um, interesting. All right, that could be fine. We could do it after this. If you're gonna be here, we can do it. We can make it work. Um, that's actually pretty good. We got to keep a one-one, and we draw two cards. Like, that seems just fine. And we get the Soren and get back Midnight Reaper. Oh yes. <clears throat> Bob, send the send the deck over in Discord. Um, if you have a, a format that I can just copy and paste, that would be great. And uh, one, two, three. This guy. So I can load it up, and then I can just worry. I can then I can just deal with. Um... Actually, don't use that link. I'd rather just I'd rather just go through PayPal friends and family because that way I don't have to pay fees on it. It's just a preference of mine for any kind of donations. Wow, they didn't take Midnight Reaper. They took Plague Crafter. That's interesting. Yeah, you're not great, unfortunately. They have one card, and we have double Midnight Reapers on board. Seems good. Seems very, very good. Probably just gonna hold this one. Like, this is a two-turn clock either way. If they kill a Midnight Reaper, then... I think we're winning this game. IRS, some people use PayPal. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, most of my oh, this exiles them, doesn't it? That's ah, that's some, that's some, that's some shit, ain't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think we'll just have Bantu out here. I can sacrifice two lands here. Shut up and take my money. Pretty easily. Sorry that you don't like the nations. They have to pay. For wow. Wow. Yup, that's a top. Wait, white or green creatures? Destroy a planeswalker that's green or white? I don't have, like, any white or green creatures in the deck. That's interesting. Taunos, you're unbelievable, and thank you, buddy. You are the actual best. I guess if you want to use Noxious Grasp on Soldier, on Hunted Witness, I guess that's fine. This guy's fine now because now we get to. Oh, Soren is white. Yeah, that makes sense, I guess. I can understand that. Thank you. Two Exodus. Thank you so much, Larissa, buddy. Really appreciate it. Did you want to go empty your arena for me? Um, arena's fine if it's standard. Oh, it's got to be. Yeah, let's do arena because I'm actually being the. Uh... 
because I'm actually sponsored this week by Wizards. So this deck is doing quite well. I am uh, I'm quite thrilled with it. Mr. Merfolk, Skyda. Should I get some? Guys, should I get some? Um. Bob, I was gonna say, don't worry about payment right now. Just just worry about sending me the deck, and then we can discuss uh, the PayPal or what have you later. Like that's that's. That's not a big deal. I trust you. Um, I like that this sleeve is like 4,000 in gold and everything else is gems. Why is everything else gems except for that one? Command the Dreadhorde's interesting. I think you'd end up getting back a lot of dudes, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really have any changes that I want. Like, it's funny. The, it's funny the biggest change I wanted to make to this deck was I wanted to get sleeves. <laughs> I'm like, at least I can get some sweet sleeves. It's fine. I really just want to play against different decks. I just don't want to keep playing against Mono Esper. But I mean, listen, this seems good. Stomping Ground seems like a good start. Alright, so we get to go this guy into this guy, which means we can probably start playing. As long as we hit land drops. Uh oh. Whoa. Midnight Reaper, keep on rolling, Miller. I think I like the Karn sleeve the most. This is too many planeswalkers. There's a corn sleeve, yeah, it's got Jonathan Davis on the front. And he's all like, Are you ready? Um actually Plague Crafter seems decent here. I just watched the Awesome Games Done Quick Zelda Metroid combo randomizer, which was great. At the end, the guys who played it and the guests talked like Elmo, Goofy, and Mickey Mouse. One guy sang a kiss from a rose, too. Frank would fit it right. That sounds gas, dude. Oh, oh kiss from a rose. Screen love. Thank you so much for this. Just a couple bits for all. <laughs> I'll make sure he gets them. I'll make sure he, he receives. I'm not thrilled about this, especially when Cavalier can't kill anything because we have nothing in play. Around the time I was like, I just want to play another, I just want to play a different deck now, and then it's like, well, here's, here's Nissa dot deck. Well, that's awkward. All right, we're just gonna go to the next game. Cavalier ain't gonna do anything here because they just put counters on this guy and then kill you. Okay, Finale of Eternity seems great here, because now I can just shoot all their stupid idiots. 
Plague Crafter seems worse because they're always going to have like tiny little dudes. Duress actually seems fine as well. Yikes. You feeling a great impact on the meta if one even... Yeah, I definitely think there's an impact on the meta for sure. I think we can just go Hunted Witness here and next turn Duress. They're not going to play any spells that are super aggressive. Show me what you got. Um, I think Domri is less scary than Nissa. I think Nissa is actually terrifying. I like that. Next time they can play this guy. If we don't hit a land, we can't. I, like, I, I think we're just going to try to kill the Gruul Spellbreaker here. They don't have any other creatures that are actually worth killing, so I'd, I'd rather not kill a Lana War Elf. blocks. I can go 16 here. I am mad at you. Oh, maybe I just play that guy now. People all over the world. Slice it up. Join hands. They have so many, like, planeswalkers and removal spells that I almost want the full duresses. Also, Priest is worse because of um, all the lands they can get, so that's fine. Why is this song stuck in my head? I don't know. Oh, worth noting that the list that iBob submits ha submitted has two Haunt of High Towers, which is one of my favorite cards uh, from Ravnica, and also four Spawn of Mayhem, so looking spicy. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this.
Again, they don't have they're not gonna have anything on turn two, so I'm okay with it. Ooh, Vivian of the Arcbow. Let's get rid of you. Aggressive, aggressive. Soren, huh? I don't think there's anything we can even draw that would put two bodies on the board for this, unfortunately. Yep, that's aggressive, all right. Yikes. Guess I'll take seven. Oh, that was a good draw. My god. Can we get this guy back into Liliana? All right, I'll go, all we gotta do is survive this turn. All right, not bad, not bad. Chicken, oh man. That's a beautiful chicken. Yeah, it's gotta be Choops, unfortunately. I don't actually know how to deal with this rekindling of Phoenix anymore. That's pretty bad. Like even if we sack really make them sacrifice it, like it just doesn't do anything. Check two, thanks so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Yep, I guess we're just dead here. One two against the Gruel deck. That is unfortunate. I feel like we would have been well prepared. And back down we go. Be prepared. I wonder if this deck wants any copies of D Spark in the sideboard for things like Teferi or I'm not sure what the Bond two is for. I could see putting two copies of D-Spark in the sideboard. Cut the Bontu. Bontu was fine in one match, but like... Maybe Bontu is actually good against the... The control decks to just like give you a way to... Like refill a little bit. I'll take out two Gutter Spark. Like I just don't know where Gutter Spark's fitting in. Or Gutter Bones rather, Gutter Spark. I'll keep this. Oh, we're playing against McFly. McFly. Sample. You can go. We need lands. Does adding Mayhem Devil make the mana too bad in this deck? Um. But the problem is you're not sacrificing things. Oh, I guess you are with, with Priest. Yeah, it's probably just not worth it. Like, just because I can see you, like, dealing an extra three damage per game with Mayhem Devil. And, like, what do you even cut for it? Yeah. 
No surprise, Watsy wants to squeeze money out of its players. I, I like when Watsy tries to squeeze money out of its players. That's one of my favorite things because they're a company I really enjoy their product. So I want them to be as lucrative as possible so that I can continue to enjoy their product. And as a consumer, uh, I get to say, hey, I don't need this this particular product you're offering and I get to choose not to buy it. Uh, that's the freedom I have as a consumer. So I'm actually okay when Watsy tries to make as much money as possible as a business. I guess it's just this. <laughs> uh, I don't think we're going to try to kill this guy, but yeah, we're definitely just not. Being profitable is different than making every penny possible. Why? Why would I begrudge them of trying to make every penny possible? Why would I do would that? Why would I? Why would I ever begrudge a company of that? Especially when I like their product. Like you can also just choose not to do it. Like at no point are at no point, wizard wizards makes no products that force you to buy them in order to play the game. I begrudge Dow for lobbying the EPA to legalize the pesticides is killing all the bees. For I, I agree, but I also don't buy Dow products, <laughs> to my knowledge. Uh, I mean, unless their far-reaching arm extends. Uh, but I mean, like, it's just a matter of speak with your wallet. Like, if you feel bad because, like, the mastery pass is too expensive, then just don't get the mastery pass, man. I don't think Watsi has malicious intent, unlike Dow, uh, who are, is a completely different company. Sorry, I can't feed the kids this week. Watching well, a promo, Kellen Raiders, and I had to buy it. And then your wife's like, "I can't believe that company. They are unbelievable." I got the pass because I actually read that it was actually a significantly good value. And then as soon as I picked it up, they actually increased the the number of experience you get. So I was like, I, I find it. It, was, it felt a little hard to to complain. This guy. Oh, I didn't even realize we were playing Nexus because I saw this guy and Cavalier and I was like, oh, interesting. You got it. Three, four, five. Let's just pass. Pass my turn. So three, four, five, and then six. We can kill this if we just choops this guy instead of anything else. Some manners. 
Yeah, D Spark is also good against uh, Wilderness Reclamation, so it's definitely a solid sideboard option. Yep. <clears throat> oh, that makes me sad because now I just can't insta kill this idiot. No, I still can. Uh, I think we're gonna submit the Orzov Enforcer. No, we'll submit the Chupacabra. The other guy's got Death Touch. Death Touch. Kill the guy that you control. I'm gonna put Hydroid Crassus back on my deck. So what we can do is we can sack these two. No, we're not doing that. Oh, that was a good hit. That was a beautiful, beautiful hit. What do we got? One creature in the well, one card in the graveyard period. That was a very good draw. Now we can kill this attack for three. Which makes it prime. Prime. Do you guys uh kill one? Submit. Get rid of Witness and this guy. Oh, we also get to draw two? Holy smokes. Forgot about that for a second. We play a land we did, so we're just going to play you for free. I feel like we're in good shape. I'm no expert. Feels okay though. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We can actually just play this. Could play Plague Crafter and Haunted Witness. I like that. Sack the Hunted Witness. I mean, this is a matchup where I have no incentive not to keep playing creatures out, I guess. I have to go. Too much going on. Just want to stop and say hi. How Thomas, have a good afternoon, buddy. Thank you so much for the, the support. Really appreciate it, as always. You're wonderful. Enjoy your afternoon. Well, I'll take another turn. Here we go. Maybe it's just because I played too much GDH. My first instinct when you were playing all that was to think, but opponent has Cyclonic Rift mana. That's true. The other thing I thought was... Um, I guess I was like, Ro Root Snare was my... The was was like, oh, they're just going to Root Snare us, but that doesn't really punish us. Also, this is life, not damage, so we can deal them two, four, five. I don't know. Badger, what's going on, buddy? Let me aid you. 
Oh my god, can you imagine if Cyclonic Rift was legal in this deck? You're just like, end of your turn, I'll bounce all your permanents. Oh boy. Just the cringiest. I'd much rather not imagine that. That's your right to do. What do you got? 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, man? God, we're so close. Yep. Oh, look, he hit another one. Good for you. Good for you. See the wilderness reclamation. Oh, just the land. Okay. Oh, sorry, that was loud. Badger, I wish we. I wish I could do more for you, buddy. I wish there was some way we could help the depression. Then making a feature of the past the buggy, they have to ban people's It's not ridiculous. It's just like that's literally just programming, man. Like it wasn't intentional. It was just a mistake. Like they just have to edit it. Like don't even forget. Like Arena is still basically in the beta stage. Like uh, I get that you don't appreciate the past, man. But like uh, some people do, and that's imp that's the important part, right? Like some people like it, and I think that's fine. Badger, it means a lot to hear that, buddy. If it isn't Nicholas, if it isn't Hat Mike himself, I know I noticed it somewhere. Yeah, seems like I got this thing in the bag. How do you lose? How do you lose? Nick, when are you coming to visit, buddy? I'm getting real tired of it. It's getting real old, my friend. I'm saving up money this pa so you'll be here next paycheck is that what you're saying because I don't think I've seen you for like a year man so two weeks after you get paid got it sounds good so sometime in August sounds good yep this is fun I'm having a good time I am having a good time. Having a blast, having a blast. 
Egg me off a piece of that. Having a blast. <clears throat> Did you know October is widely considered the spookiest month? Get out of here. To the library, to the wall. Oh, Monk HB with the 13 months in a row. Nick Nicholas, thank you so much, man. Did you subscribe last time you were here and then you've just kept the subscription going the whole time? Oh, God. Is there a kill me emote? Is there an emote that I can do that, that uh, informs my opponent that I want to die? Because I feel like that's where I am right now. Like, I feel like they just have to whiff on one Nexus and then we're okay, right? Like, that's all they have to... Oh, they have four cards in their library? Oh, well, so we're basically just dead then, right? Yeah, so... That's cool. So now they can just always... Their deck is just four Nexuses, right? <laughs> oh, boy. And we're done. Punish them for every step. <laughs> I feel like Brett's commitment to punishing them is a lot stronger than mine. Uh, D Spark can come in for sure. Remember the time we added these D Sparks? Let's bring in these duresses too. I'll cut a choop. I'll cut a choopaloopa. A loopacabra. Uh, what about Bantu? Do you like Bantu? I like one Bantu. Maybe I just want more duresses. Maybe I want all the duresses. Uh, Plague Crafter actually seems pretty good here, surprisingly. Maybe. Ooh, maybe. Take out one of these guys. We'll bring in the other. We'll bring in a Bantu. Either way, this deck has felt pretty strong. I would love to sideboard Unward Ego. Unfortunately, however, blue mana is at a premium here. That is just really funny to me. What's really funny to you? Tell me. Usually it's three clicks to blue, which I feel like is actually too many clicks to blue. Ocean Man. 
Take me by the hand. Oh, sh I want to call attention to the fact that the arena loading screen displays both username and then tells your opponent which one is you and which one is your opponent. Uh, oh, let me read your message. Hold on, let me see what you said. I wanted to call attention to the fact that the arena loading screen is... Oh, interesting, interesting. I feel like we're already dead here. Which makes me incredibly sad. I'm most tired of Watsy telling me what brand of toilet paper I have to buy. Wow, that was crazy. I think we've lost this match, guys. It doesn't feel good. They have five cards, we have three, and their board is pretty good so they have one two three four five six seven eight nine we have three lands they have five good lord oh come on good lord the viking what's going on buddy day's pretty all right um all right oh, i'm all right with it Okay, uh, I feel like we're just not not doing anything here. I'm gonna I'm gonna concede because I don't think we're beating Active Nissa and we have no way to play anything. Yikes! That is a yikes for me. Either way, this deck was pretty fun. Um, I'll give you guys one last look at it, but it's also gonna be in the description below. You can check me out at CoolStuffInc.com. If you use promo code Frank Five, you'll get five percent off. You can also check me out at manatraders.com. By check me out, I mean you can use the promo code and the link in the description to get 20% off the first three months of any subscription and they have an awesome service that lets you uh, rent physical cards or Magic Online digital cards. So you can play Modern, you can play Legacy. Depends on what you're looking for. And uh, yeah, this deck was sweet. I actually enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, had a lot of controlling elements, had a lot of aggressive elements. I was a fan, so I think it's pretty good. Have we played a deck that runs Solar Blaze yet? I don't even remember what Solar Blaze does, so the answer is no. Um, yeah, if you finish that Ninja deck, we can try that out sometime too. Um, but either way, if you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. If you guys are watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, guys. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the deck, and I will see you guys next time. Appreciate it. Love you guys.